what's up guys so in the last tutorial what we did was we made a simple list view using the Android resource layout simple list item that's built in and what that is is basically a simple list item that's sim that represents each row in the list view and it's good when you want to make a quick and dirty uh, list view but when you want to start customizing your list views and making them unique uh, it doesn't do so well. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to make our own simple list item and uh, It's going to still look pretty generic, but it's going to give us a, a Foundation to build upon to start making some custom list views So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go into your layout folder and add a new item an Android layout and we'll call it list view underscore row and Xamarin will pull up our designer for us. And here we just have a pretty much an empty uh, AXML file. And what this is, is basically this is representing our whole entire row. So if we had uh, 10 list views, our 10 rows in our list view, then there's gonna be 10 of these guys, each with some different content in of course, but uh, it's gonna represent the format of, of each one. So hope that makes sense. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is just drag over a text view and you can see that uh, we have our text view now. Go over to the code, to the source, and we can set the ID to something a little less generic, like name. And you don't have to put any text in it because the text is gonna be set by the list view adapter that we're gonna make pretty soon. But the uh, putting the text kind of gives you a good idea of where it's gonna be uh, before it compiles and runs. And then you can even come into here into your properties once again, if you don't have properties uh, that this window open, go ahead and uh, click on the view and it might be in here or you go to other windows and look into here and you'll be able to pull up your properties. So whenever you click on a uh, component, you'll be able to pull up all of its properties and be able to customize it. So here, you know, if you wanted to add some padding, cause see how it's like really close to the edges or something like that, make it look a little nicer. Uh, some 5 DP or something, uh, two for the bottom, two for the top. All right, there you go. So it's a little better. So basically right now we just have one text view in our, our row, which is what the simple list atom basically is. So with that, we're going to leave that at that, but it is our own and Next, what you wanna do is we're gonna, instead of using the array adapter, we're gonna to want to build and customize our own list view adapter. So let's go ahead and do that. And what you wanna do is go ahead and click on the top of the project and add new item and click on the class. And we're gonna to wanna to call this, we'll call this uh, my list view adapter. Okay, so with that, the first thing we want to do is we're going to want to inherit from something called the base adapter, which in this case, uh, right now we'll just take, was just going to be a string. So go ahead and inherit from base adapter with this, with replacing the generic with the string data type. And something I want to show you guys, if we, if we try to build this right now, we should get a few errors. Okay. So look at here on the bottom, we got a few errors because we're not inheriting and implementing the, uh, the base adapter is an abstract member, so you have to implement some of its methods. And these are the ones that you have to implement. So we're getting errors because we're not implementing them. So let's go ahead and fix that. So let's override. First thing is uh, count. So Visual Studio, Visual Studio will help us out a little bit on this one. And what this is is basically uh, the number of items. Basically, the count is going to represent how many rows are in this list view. And how we know how many rows are in the list view is by how many items um, are in our, our list. So let's go ahead and create a list uh, string. And we'll call it our items. Okay. And with that, then we can go ahead and return the count. So this says, okay, well, we have 10 items. Uh,
yeah, there it is. Okay, so what this is saying is we have 10 items, say, in our uh, list of strings. So return this to this guy, and this will say, hey, list view, I got 10 items, so let's make 10 rows. And that's basically that's all, all that's doing. Um, the next thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need a context. And you'll see why in a moment. And another thing we're gonna need is the uh, constructor. We're gonna need to build a constructor for uh, our my list view adapter class. And it's gonna take a, we're gonna pass in a context and we're gonna pass in the uh, items, of course, you know, of the, the contents of the list view, which is gonna be, of course, a list of strings and call it items. And basically we're just gonna need to initialize some of this stuff. Okay, so that's all good to go. So once what this is called, we'll pass in a context, pass in the contents, and we'll initialize our global variables up here. Now we'll go ahead and rebuild it again. Should get some rid of one of the errors and we'll get item ID is what we need to override next. So hit override, get item ID. This one's pretty simple. All we need to do is return the position. We don't need to do anything special in this method. The next one we need to do is uh, it wants an indexer, which indexers are pretty cool. I'll show you right now. So we're on our override. Type in this, you should see this. So this basically is, it's returning a string because that's what we have over here as our uh, data type. And if it was, you know, if it was object, it'd be object, or if it was, if you're using a generic like T, VT. So, uh, so it's a string in this case. And what it's doing is it's passing in, or it's, it's wanting the position of, of this object, whatever the instance of the object is. So we can return, you know, it wants a string. So we would, what we need to return is basically the position of the item. So once we instantiate the my list view adapter with that object, we can basically uh, give it an index, like kind of treat it as an array and it will return, you know, the position that we feed it, the content. So I'll show you, I'll show you right now in the activity. Uh, they're pretty cool to use. So last thing we need is the method that does most of the work, which is get view. So this actually creates the row and leaves it up to you to do whatever you want with it. Uh, you know, do you want to set the text or, you know, you want to do anything you want with the items that uh, are in your XML file, which is right here. We'll, we'll pull that up for a second. But so the first thing you want to do is uh, we have a view, so it's our row, and convert view is a uh, parameter that's passed in. And the first thing I want to do is check to see is the role is the row. Sorry about that. <laughs> null. And this is basically if we want to, if we can reuse it. Android reuses a uh, lots of its list views. If there's hundreds or thousands of list uh, rows, then it needs a proper way to recycle the rows and. Uh, use it for efficient memory usage. So if it's null, we want to uh, basically instantiate a new item. So another row, row equals, um, and then here's where the context comes in, layout inflator. And then there's a static method, which takes a context, the context that we passed in. And with that, we get we it returns a layout inflator. And for those of you that are familiar with, with doing this, it's uh, basically it's just another way of getting the inflator. Uh, for those of you that are not infl and like, hey, what's, what the heck's an inflator? Basically an inflator just takes a resource and uh, you know inflates it and creates a view out of it. So um, it's kind of a bad way of explaining, I guess, but <laughs> you'll get used to it. Um, so you want to inflate and it wants a resource. So this is where we feed it the resource that we created this uh, list view underscore row. So let's give it that resource dot layout. And then there it is right there. So, okay, it's got that. And if we were to attach it to another view, this is what we would give it, but right now we're not. And then if to attach to root, I'm not gonna do that. So to send it to false. And there we have it. We have our new row, which is this guy. Okay, 
So if we if it's not row if it's not null, then it's going to go on and it's going to use this convert view row. And if it is null, then it's going to you know it's going to try to reuse this. If it can't, then it's going to create a new one. So it's an efficient way to way to do to uh, draw out the rows on the list view. And uh, the next thing we want to do now that we have a row, what we want to do is you want to create a text view. And this is going to be the text view that's going to represent this thing in here. So this is a row. So what's this row? What should this row be? So it equals, um, first we need to get an instance of it. So let me do row dot find view by ID. And it's going to be a text view, like we said over here. And we need to grab the ID of it. So txt name, which is, don't forget, what we specified over here. So now it's got a reference to this guy. And we're going to do, we're going to set its text to the uh, position of the uh, the contents in the, in the list in the list of strings. So do txt dot text. So we're going to set its text to uh, that we have our items to the position of the row. So if this is zero over main activity, this is going to be Bob. If the rows one, Tom, one, Tom, and then so on. So it's going to keep doing that for every row, which in this case, there's only going to be three rows because we only have three items. Oh, sorry. So now we go ahead and return because it does want to view back. That's why it's giving that error right now. Return the row. Okay. So let's go ahead and rebuild it and see where we are now if we have any more errors or anything like that. Okay, okay, cool. Rebuild one succeeded. All right, so we're done with the list view adapter. So this is really a basic list view adapter. It's, it's basically this using the, it's gonna look the same like the simple list item that we used in the beginning in the other tutorial, but uh, it's our own and we can further customize it from there. So let's close that out, go back into our main activity. We'll get rid of this guy, don't need that. Um, and what we'll do from there is we don't need the array adapter anymore. Now we're going to use our own list view adapter. So let's go ahead and delete this line right here. And let's instantiate a instance of it. So we'll call it adapter equals new my list view adapter. And we're going to send it a context. And once again, because the uh, activity class is a subclass of context, we can just send it this and the contents of the list view. And we still need the same, so that's gonna correlate. And let's go ahead and run it and try it. All right, pull up the emulator. Right. It's building, building. Sometimes the emulator hangs, so just gotta be patient with it. All right, it's gonna pull up our application. And there we have it. So here is our list view. And do notice that it is a little slimmer. These, uh, each row is a little slimmer than, than the one in the simple list item. And that's easily fixed by just uh, going into your row and you know setting the, uh, the height to something of your liking. So there you do have it. And um, what I did wanna show you though is that indexer. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with it, the indexer that we used, uh, I'm sorry, let me pull that back up. This is an indexer. And what that does is give us, gives us the capability to use the instance of the object, which is my list view adapter, which is adapter. This is the instance of the my list view adapter. And uh, so we can do, you know, we can do something like string indexer test or something like that and equals adapter and we can use the adapter somewhat like an array and see how it pulls up and knows what we want. It pulls up the int position, which is we're right now currently using 
this thing right here. And what we're going to do is we can just, you know, give it like one. And this indexer test will now equal Tom. So we can use the object as somewhat like an, an index, an array, and uh, pass in whatever we, you know, pass back whatever we want. In this case, it's a string of the M item. So that stuff uh, sometimes is really helpful to do. Um, so instead of having, you know, what we could do, of course, is, you know, we could do, we could make this public, of course, make this public, and then we go back into our activity. We can do adapter dot M items, and then get it from there. And that'd be equally equivalent. But, uh, you know, that's just a cleaner way to do it uh, with the indexer. So that's all. So hopefully uh, you guys can use that to your benefit. Um, you can do it a lot, a lot of cool stuff with that. So thanks for watching.